Oh, hello, hello, it's Paul again. Here we are. All right, today is part two of the cleaning restorations, which is uh, detailing in my and what I do. Um, it's been asked by several people. So again, this is a process that I'm needing to do. So I'm just repeating it to show you. So the first thing I'll do is go through. I've just laid it out. Um, I've finished pretty much the detailing and I've reassembled the radios. So um, you'll have to watch part one to see the condition of these radios, but I'll be putting in photos at the start. So I'll just swing it around again. All right, so things that you'll need are um, isopropyl alcohol, uh, deoxid for your switches uh, and connectors. Um, I'm, I, this is actually my choice of product for spraying vinyl covered uh, uh, covers and which I've done here and uh, sometimes steel if I uh, primer coat with a an etch primer vinyl etch primer uh, you'll need a range of sandpapers I use modeling sandpaper blocks uh, various screwdrivers in this instance it was a Phillips head uh, aluminium polish which I use autosol I use that to polish the plastics, which you'll see in a minute, and various toothbrushes. Um, and I have a box for all of the, the items as I take them off. Uh, also for replacement screws and lost screws, I have a new um, box of, of product. And then screws left over from other jobs, which are here and here so that just means i have one point of call i grab that container and i've got everything all right so where are we all right let's look at the covers the covers here both um, believe it or not have been painted okay and you can see the before there and the after and we've got stuff like this happening inside. Um, I didn't soak that one because I wanted to show you the state that they were in. The top cover was actually a lot worse. And you look at it now and how the radio looks. I've also uh, painted the bracket because that was scratched. All new case screws. I found um, the proper knobs for this. It just had M6 screws in it. Um, I've scrubbed with aluminium polish, you can see the finish on the top bezel. I'll just go really close. Now that had quite a bit of damage in it and that's all gone. Tiny bit there, I can't get that gouge out. Right. I've cleaned the Perspex uh, uh, channel selector of all of scratches. I've done a light polish on the front fascia and the signal meter done a cut and polish as well on that plastic. Uh, all the switches are back to a bright luster. The knobs are clean, I can't do any better than that. They just fade over time, they were originally black anodized. But um, if you look at that radio, um, it's, it's close to being a high 9 out of 10 result. Then we have a look at this one, the Dick Smith Hornet. This was probably the worst. This is the one that had the name et, um, etched into the top of the plastic. That's all gone. Or well, you can just see it. I can't get it any better than that. This will need... Um, I've got a process for chroming the leading edges and this will need that. But all the switches have been cleaned, knobs have been cleaned. This was the one that was uh, yellow in colour. So you can see there's a big difference there. So anyone can do this, it's very, very simple. It just takes patience. Um, I ended up soaking the covers, uh, or the three covers and uh, bracket for two and a half days and um, cleaned the knobs as I brought them out and separated them and then I took the covers, that's one 
um, step I haven't shown and um, with a mix of 80% automotive degreaser and water um, let these soak for about half an hour and that cleaned them up finally and then once that was the case they were ready for paint or you can just leave them because uh, on these particular covers the cybernet the degreaser brings them up like new it takes all the grime out of the covers so that's a bit of a trade secret that I don't share with everybody but that's uh, a lot of radios if they haven't got any damage to the vinyl I, that's the, that's the final step for them but when radios were in bad condition like this it's uh, um, it needs it needs everything that I've got all right uh, that's your lot for today I'm not turning them on uh, don't have the power supply here, but uh, they all work fine. Okay, I'll get off and um, and spray that uh, last cover, clean it, put it on, and then put them aside so that we can work out the electronic side of this and get them 100% operational. All right, remember comment, like, and subscribe. This is Pull It Apart Paul for another restoration, and please comment and uh, and ask your questions. I do respond to all. And uh, let's get this hobby flying along and you all enjoying it. Thanks, guys.